Hello everyone and welcome to Goodwood 2023. As you can see I'm outside the house with the Porsche structure behind me. Which is celebrating 75 years of Porsche. With this amazing structure we've got various uh, different cars from the, over the 75 years. You've got 911s, road cars, you've got race cars, LMP race cars. So uh, let's go and explore this amazing show. I have one of the Style Deluxe now, which is uh, for a selection of different cars grouped in different uh, little groups. Uh, so you've got a group of uh, supercars, uh, classic cars, Land Rovers, etc. And they're all uh, judged by uh, celebrities and awarded uh, the uh, best in group and then best overall car here at Style Deluxe. So let's go and explore the lovely cars here in Style Deluxe. start off we've got this Lamborghini Diablo GT in orange it looks awesome this section is Road to Le Mans uh, selection uh, group of cars next up is the 1993 Bugatti EB110 GT Next up we've got the 98 Porsche 911 GT1 in blue. Next up the 1997 Nissan R390, uh, very rare car. Next up is the 97 McLaren F1 in silver. Next up is the 2005 Maserati MC12 Stradale. Huge car. And the last one from the Road to Le Mans collection is 98 Mercedes Benz CLK LM. Wow, that's so cool. So the next batch is the Land Rover's success story batch. So you've got a uh, recovery Land Rover with its winch on the back. Very early one. Tickford station wagon. Got a fire engine one. With this little trailer on the back. How cool is that? Nice little green one with the uh, canvas roof on the back. Little soft top. 1948 one, that one. Nineteen fifty-three Royal Review vehicle used by the Queen and other members of the royal family. Next up in this Land Rover, uh, outstanding in its field collection, is this Rover eighty Land Rover eighty Series SES one with all the machine guns on it. Two machine guns for the front passenger, radio, and a big 50 cow on the back. How cool is that? All jerry cans, extra round of ammunition. That's so cool. Next section is the custom low riders section. 
This is the 1951 Mercury. You see the cars are just uh, cleaning all the morning dew off it. Lovely white wall tyres and red interior. So cool. Next up is the 1950s Mercury Coupe from the custom low rider section. It's lovely cream with the white section and chrome, again with white wall tyres and nice chrome disc hubcaps and cream interior. All on air ride. So cool. Next up is a 1940s Plymouth Coupe in purple. Again on air ride. Black interior. Nice. Next up is 1950s Mercury Custom Planet Voodoo. I like the hubcaps on this one. 1941 Business Coupe. Again, part of the custom Lowriders collection. 1940 Mercury 8 Coupe. It's lovely green. Again, part of the Lowriders collection. Last one in the uh, low riders cut uh, collection is this 1935 Model A 48 cab in gold <coughs> with a white canvas roof and cream interior. How cool is that? Completes the lowrider section. Next up is a Ferrari Enzo Le Commodore's cars uh, collection. Starting off this 1965 275 GTB in green, black interior. Wow, beautiful condition. Next up is a 62 Ferrari 400 Super America. Navy blue with cream interior. Next up in the Ferrari collection is this 1966, 1966 uh, Ferrari 330 GT in silver with black uh, navy blue interior. Next up we have a 72 Dino 246 GTS, red with cream interior from the Ferrari collection. small they are. I don't realise how small the Dino really is. Next up we have a 61 Ferrari 250 GTE 2 plus 2. Like a grey with cream, uh, tan interior. The last car in the uh, Ferrari collection is this 1964 250 GT Lusso. They're so cool, so valuable as well, these GT250 Lissos. Next collection is the uh, Derby Days Bespoke Bentleys in the 30s collection. Start up this 39 Bentley, overdrive, convertible. Next Bentley is this 1937 Bentley 4 by Park Ward, black coupe, with a tan interior in it. Next up is this 1937 Bentley 4, Rothschild Sanded Coupe. These are all like made to order things, these Bentleys from the 30s. 1938 Overdrive Coupe by De Vere's. <clears throat> that 
rounds up the Bentley collection. Next up is this 1938 Bentley drop hearing roof by H.J. Mulliner. Convertible. Cream brown. Don't see that colour combo very much these days. Next up, selection is everything but the 911, celebrating 75 years of Porsche. So we've got this 1966 Porsche 906 race car. 1957 356A Carrera GTS Speedster. Wow, how cool is that? Next up, we've got a 92 Porsche 959 in silver. Next up, we get an incredibly rare 91 Scudupa 962C CRP1. Basically, a road car going version of their 962 race car. Don't know how many made, but they're incredibly rare. I've never seen one of these before. Check out the size of this wing. Next up, 2005 Porsche Carrera GTZ. Carrera GTs are quite rare in themselves, but this is a Zagato bodied one, which makes it even rarer. I don't think I've ever seen a Zagato bodied Carrera GT before. Last up in this Porsche collection is a 2014 Porsche 918 Spider black with a grey and highlight yellow pinstripes all over it. Wow, they're so cool these cars. A cool livery on it. And that ends the uh, Porsche collection. This next section is the uh, Wheels of Fortune Grand Tours of the 50s starting off this is 52 Bentley Type R Continental. Euros at the moment, 1954 Aston Martin DB2 Villari. And when you've got spare solar beyond the factory, never seen an Aston Martin look like this before. It's a rebodied one from Vinali. How cool is that? Next up, I've got a 56 AC Acia in the Wheels of Fortune selection. Silver one. Next up, we've got a 55 Lancia Aurulia GT. Dainty little coupe with blue with tan interior. <laughs> Last of the Wheels of Fortune collection is this 54 Bristol 404. Like silvery green colour. Dainty little thing. Last collection is this 110 years of cycle cars, Bertha Ford All Motoring. Starting off with 1930s, 1913 Tomblay Taipei tandem. 1912, 1921 Tamplin. <laughs> Dainty little thing is that with the disc wheels on it, hubcaps. Sorry, you did one car. Okay. Another 1921. Car. This is a card model 7. <laughs> These cars are so small I wouldn't even fit in it. This 1927 Auto Red Bug pretty much is a cycle car. It's just some wood and some wheels and, that, and, a, and a steer on pretty much it. <laughs> 1912 Rolo Sociable. Yellow and black. It's a bit bigger one, this one, compared to the other cars in this little selection. This is a 1926 Seal Sociable. It's a half car, half motorbike. It's pretty much a, a giant motorbike and sidecar. And the last one is this 1919 Grafton Berry. And that completes. 110 years of cycle cars, affordable motoring. This is 
the all new Singer turbo wide body. The old car just started up in the background, so this was made a, a rather lot of noise. How cool is this? From Singer. It's absolutely insane. Lovely chrome BBS wheels on it. Massive wide arches on it. Side exit exhaust. Big ducktail, carbon air intakes. This thing's nuts. Just look at the aero on the back. And this is the uh, engine in it. Things insane. <laughs> Rolls-Royce stand here at Goodwood. So let's have a look at all the lovely uh, Rolls-Royces on their stand, including their new all-electric Spectre Coupe. So let's go check out the Rolls-Royce stand. So this is it, the all-new Spectre all-electric Rolls-Royce Coupe. Finish up in this unusual greeny colour with a black bonnet, black roof. Cream interior. Size of wheels on it. What a car! It's the first of four light days. Hi everyone, this is the McLaren stand here at Goodwood, 20, Goodwood Festival Speed 2023. McLaren is celebrating 60 years anniversary this year. As you can see, I've got one there, Arturo hybrid uh, V6 road cars behind me. So let's have a look at all the lovely cars, including the new Solus GT uh, track only car with a uh, lovely NA V12, uh, V10 engine in it, plus uh, McLaren show car with the this uh, the one-off uh, colour scheme on it. So let's just check out all the uh, lovely cars here in the McLaren stand. Sadly, due to the weather, uh, their extremely off-road buggies all covered up. 